Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Today, I want to collect more blue chests and maybe an asterisk, even though Anyas would really rather we get on with the main plot there, but she's not held captive anymore. She'll live. But, uh, okay, so, let's see. I want to go back to my random battle setup here. Because there's one bestiary entry that I neglected to finish off around here that I can't in the next dungeon I want to go into. And let's see. So, yeah, there they are. Zwart. So, yeah, I need to kill two more of them to fill up their bestiary entry. And they can only be encountered either on the overworld around Harina during the daytime or in the Harina ruins. So, I'm just going to take care of this on the overworld. And then I'll be right back. Alright, took care of all those guys. Let me see. And let me just double check all of that. Yeah, that'll be good. So, uh, these guys can paralyze you as well. But, yeah, they're not very tough. So, I wouldn't really worry about that. But, uh, alright, so now... Uh, well, last time we got the summoner asterisk. So, now we can start collecting summons. So, Visceral will no longer give us katanas, but I don't really need them. But, uh, let's see. With my setup here... Yeah, I'll just leave that alone for now. I might have to fight a random battle or something on the way there. But, uh, yeah. So, we can, uh, collect those summons. But they are all over the world. So, I'll just pick them up when I'm in the area. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find them. Because... Yeah, they're not very useful. The first one that I want to pick up, though, is in Northwest Eternia. We could have gone here earlier to find Mr. Al, but he doesn't... I don't think he actually gives you a katana. And, uh, yeah, why don't we reduce that encounter rate back to normal. Board the little boat. And then that not up to find Mr. Owl. He's way at the top over here. And actually, before doing that, I want to change my setup. Let's get over to the boss setup that I was using before. Although, I'll probably want to change some things a little bit. Yeah, why don't we get you back on Warfare? Otherwise, you're looking good. I guess I could leave Magnolia as is. And let's see. Okay, so with Tiz, yeah, I want to change his setup here a little bit. Just get on four Kalikamard. That'll be good enough for him. Let's see. With this, though, it might not be... Well, I don't need the Katana Lore, that's for sure. So, yeah, why don't we go to Dual Wield, although it's not incredibly important. But it probably would be, yeah, slightly better there. And as a fencer, we've already got max proficiency with swords anyway. But, yeah, it looks like... Eh, whatever. I don't even care about my HP. We'll be fine. Ugh. I'm freezing out here. No one's ever going to show up. I hate this job. Well, how did you even get here anyway? It'll be great, they said. You'll get plenty of fresh air, they said. And here I am, freezing my tail feathers off again. <laughs> oh, good. I was sick of well, well met, brave souls. You bear the qualifications. Hey. I am the anchorite of light. What? Achoo. <laughs> M mouthpiece of Amateur Asu. Oh, okay. This power can be yours to command. Have you the confidence to withstand the heavenly light? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> I just love the voice acting. But, uh, yeah, we're good to go. What? Really? It's your funeral, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if that confidence is misplaced. Well, that's probably true. For boss time! 
But yeah, unlike the first game, with this guy, we actually need to have a normal boss fight against him. It's not just withstand a summon and then move along with life. But, uh, okay, so let's go Meteor, Rain, and then a couple more Meteors. Idea should handle the examining, although I don't think this guy actually goes into the bestiary. But this guy is a demon-type enemy and weak to dark elemental damage. So, yeah, why don't we go four of those? That ought to be good enough. And then with Tiz, yeah, Falcon Stance, Falcon Claw, and Mimic. I did... Okay, yeah, get the magnifying glass going. But, uh, yeah, this guy doesn't have an extraordinary amount of HP. They probably made him as tough as it would be expected to encounter him in the first new game. But all right. Splendid. Got him. Well, that was easy. That didn't take very long. But all right. So we already got our first summon there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I, hmm. I thought there was... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so now we've got all these notes that Mephelia made about various summons, I suppose. And as you get more, you'll get, uh, well, even more entries made in here. Although, yeah, I don't think any of this is particularly relevant. If you really want to read it, well, pause and maybe zoom in a little. But yeah, a lot of the summons are the same as the first game, but not all of them. But yeah, so we already start out with, uh, what is it? Yeah, the Earth Elemental Summon, though Rock Storm would be far superior. But we already got the one special one that uh, she was looking for there. But uh, okay, so we got all that. Let's get out of here. Let's see, I'm probably going to have a random battle on the way out of here. So why don't I get back onto the Eternia setup that I was using before, although now we're not red mages. So I'll have to make some small changes, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so... Oh, we don't need Dungeon Master anymore, that's for sure. Oh, uh, okay, we can do it this way too, I suppose. Whatever. And then, let's see, Magnolia, I think we just leave her alone. With Tiz, though, he would probably be, do well with physical attacks. Maybe steal some more stuff, though I should probably start selling that stuff sooner or later, huh? Okay, so we get all that. Let's see, I don't need fire elemental damage here. Actually, water elemental damage would be better, I think. But whatever works. Okay, you get all on your axes there. Let's see, I think we're... Yeah, we're going to use some light elemental damage. But I want to give the Venture Badge over to her. Since Tiz is going to want to be stealing some stuff here. Let's get you back on the rifle. Calicamard and everything else I think is good. And let's get out of here then. As long as the encounter rate is normal. Or we could just get into the water here and maybe go for some katanas. Yeah, maybe like the, the Raikiri. And let's see, what else? I guess the Masamune. Yeah, that'll be good enough. For him, anyway. Get back to the bathtub. And, yeah, now we gotta make preparations for where I'm gonna go next. So, let's see, there is uh, the Baal Crater, which has the same enemies that we've been encountering recently, really. Well, I guess all that uh, equipment shuffling around wasn't important, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, so I'll probably make some small changes to my setup, though. But uh, let's see, with you, we can leave him alone. Yeah, we don't need Dungeon Master. Ah, there you go. Okay, let's keep you like that. And Idea. Let's see, Magnolia. 
yeah, just make sure we've got waste not going and we'll be fine. And with Tiz, I think we'll also leave him alone. I forget, do we actually... I'm thinking if we encounter the shield dragons at the bow crater, I think we do. Yep, they're still around. So we're going to need attack item amp to deal with them. But otherwise, I think we're good here. Yeah, make sure you got the flare hatchet, flame tongue, all that good stuff going on here. And then let's rest up. I also need to restock on some stuff with, uh, for well, for Catmancy and all that. So let's see. Now, even though we went to the Bow Crater during Chapter 2, at, or Chapter 1, at Harina, uh, let's see, for some reason, the Bow Crater is considered part of Florum, I guess just because it's proximity to it. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Let's check out the place. I'm still going to be fighting consecutive battles. But I would like to... Yeah, restock on some things and sell some of the old uh, Hermes sandals. Let's see. Why don't we hold on to three of them? That ought to be more than enough. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on the money already. Okay, and then for Catmancy stuff... So you definitely need beast flesh there. Maybe a little... Wait, hold on. No, it's the cat feathers that I remotely care about. And especially the catnip. Okay, so we'll leave that alone. Although I would like to get some more uh, magnifying glasses. Although there's no new enemies here. There will be where I'm going next. But, uh, yeah, why don't we save and then take a look around? At least for the blue chest to start. What happened to the encounter raid, anyway? Haven't seen a random battle in a while. Whoop, not down there. Keep going. There you go. Actually, there are no shield dragons on this part of the dungeon, but the last two sections have them. So we'll have to be ready for it there at least someone was asking me H.G. Bailey why aren't you using spellcraft anymore with wizard during random battles and at this point we really don't need that anymore I mean maybe needle might be useful the damage with spellcraft and like good measure full charge would get capped at 9999 so in this point, enemies are starting to have more than that amount of HP. So I think it's just best to spam spirit magic and go nuts with that. But all right, we got the Hadean Claws there that are dark elemental. So I might want to hold on to them for later. They could be useful sometimes. And there's one more thing we can do here. If you recall, first time around, Mr. Owl was around here too. Let's see, if I recall correctly, the, well, Mr. Al is all the way down in the lower right. Or maybe it's on the one to the left of this. Nope, nope, we get, we found them. Okay, how are we looking here? We are looking good. Hey, how's it going? Well, now I bear the qualifications. But, uh, yeah, we could have gotten this guy as early as, uh, chapter one. So, this probably won't hurt too much. Too bad they didn't give the voice acting to all these guys. But that's okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, so when you get these summons, they work like the first game where you have to at least survive getting hit by one of them. And where did these guys even come from anyway? got a lot more advanced stuff than we have. Splendid. How did we survive all that, though? I mean, I know Tiz, I had him on the right the, the right kitty, but uh, you and Magnolia, I guess their magic defense was so high that they just didn't take damage. 
<laughs> but uh, okay, that's everything that we want to do here. Let's get out of here, or well, at least uh, get back to the start. And I think I could probably stand to restock on some catnip. Why not? But everything else, I think we're good to go on. Where's the catnip? I don't know why they use like a fish skeleton symbol for that. I mean, I guess just because something to be with cats. But, uh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's see, the next place I want to head over to is Grand Mill Works. And they've got completely different enemies than what we've met up with before. So that's why I didn't do that while I was already over there. I figured we already got the setup for the bow crater, so why not do that first? And then head on back. But, uh, okay, so where we're going next, let's see. Okay, you're going to be good there. Idea, we can finally start putting Rock Storm to use for her. No one's strong against it. We're at the uh, Grand Mill Works. Let's see, as far as the setup goes, I would like her to have Waste Knot. Oh, uh, wrong one there. There we go. But I still want her to have uh, Quad Wield there. Almost said Quad Lore, but uh, no, that wouldn't be right. But uh, yeah, Weapon Lores, they apply to all weapon slots anyway, so. But uh, okay, so for Tiz... I would like him to have Waste Knot as well, but there's no more, like, Shield Dragons or anything. Yeah, why don't we go with that and Precog, I think. Yeah, Precog, Whisker. Yeah, everything else is good to go there. Let's see, with you, let's get him back on the Rod Device. Nothing's weak to fire, and there actually is one enemy that's weak to water, so I want to take advantage of that. But otherwise, yeah, everything else there is good. Let's see, with Magnolia, yeah, let's uh, keep her on the axes and the power bracers there. Let's see, with Magnolia, I think I'll leave her on the Lilith's Rod. But I want her to equip the Hermes Sandals and, yeah, keep the Venture Badge on Tiz there. A lot of enemies are going to be weak to lightning. And a lot of them are humanoid. So, yeah, get those two together with everything else. I think we're good to go. But, uh, yeah, why don't we rest up first before heading over there? So, there's no asterisk for us to pick up over there. But there is... Uh, blue chest that we couldn't get before. Let's see. Okay, so we've got another summon somewhere around here. Or, yeah, there we go. Deus X. And what else did we... Oh, yeah, we got that... Uh, those Hadean Claws. So, those would be pretty useful later on, but not so much right now. But, uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, what's going on with the moon base? Still there, right? Okay, good, good. But, uh, okay, so we got all that, and, yeah, we're rested up and ready to go. So let's head on back to Anchime one more time. Uh, yeah, we'll enter on this side. Let's see, did I... Okay, good, good. I, I was like, wait a minute, did I change the encounter rate? Nope, nope, we're good. You don't need to make it nighttime to get into Grand Mill Works, unlike the first game. But even if it did, we could do that pretty easily. Hmm, let me see, wasn't there a kitty around here? Hmm, I thought there was a cat here. Okay, I guess not. Or at least, not now. New Game Plus... No more cat. Oh, well. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, the chest, we gotta find a way to get around to it. After fighting some new enemies, what do we got here? Oh, we didn't meet up with these guys before? Huh. 
That's weird. These guys look like someone that I might have met up with before, but I guess not. Okay, so with these guys, let's see. Why don't we have Idea take them out? What's our speed looking like? Okay, so you go with a whole bunch of rock storms while Tiz could examine them. Hopefully, yeah, before Adia does her thing. But with these guys, yeah, even though they're weak to thunder, Rockstorm just wrecks them. Rockstorm wrecks just about everything here. Imperial Desert Katanas, also new here. But, yeah, they're weak to lightning, but also still nothing extraordinary going on with them. Hmm... I'm thinking if I want Idea to examine these guys. Actually, why don't we do this? Let's see if I can get another BP over to her. And I could equip her with a Raikiri to exploit their elemental weakness, but because I'm using Rockstorm, the Earth Elemental part overwrites that the element of whatever weapon you have equipped. So, yeah, there's no point. Might as well just go for maximum attack power. But, okay, I guess we're not going to be able to rock storm next turn. But we can get some BP over to her eventually. Okay, what do we got here now? Okay, another spear and a medic. But still, nothing extraordinary going on here okay so if I need to examine them a couple times I'm thinking if uh, Tiz could take care of this let's see so lightning would still be good but the medic isn't weak to it actually so I don't know that you could get the job done on his own Okay, how about we do this? We'll have you... Yeah, just take care of all that. Maybe get a BP over to Dia if I can. Otherwise, Tiz can handle examining the new guys. Even though he won't get any damage in there. But I can't... Well, actually, can I? I was going to say I can't win the battle by himself, but... Hmm, maybe... Let me see what I can do here. Because I can't use the... No, I can't do it. No. Because I don't have attack item amp anymore. I forget which ones I already examined there. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. Let you get the job done by himself. But uh, he should still be able to take care of the medic. Okay. Good thing I had him do four of them. Yeah, the medic also, I think, has more magic defense than the others, do they? Yeah, they, well, they got a little more, but not much. Oh, okay, I guess not, nothing more. But we got the last new enemy around here, Imperial Desert Sniper. Okay, so with these guys, I think Magnolia can do everything I want here. So why don't we get a couple extra BP going over to Idea there, even though I could get another turn for Tiz. Idea's just so much more cost efficient, or efficient with her BP. Okay, so we get that. That ought to be good. Or not. Oh, I forgot to examine the guy. Well, we can do that, I guess, later. Whoops. Well, we even got through the camouflage with all that. Okay, so with these guys, yes, yeah, go Rock Storm. Easy enough. Hopefully, I can get a Brave Attack soon. Okay, well, we got another opportunity to examine them at least. Get that going, and then Rock Storm. Oh, will this work even? Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, so they're going to dodge it. Somehow I'm surprised they didn't counterattack when I... Uh, the, uh, 
uh, well, however you pronounce that ability, it guarantees your evasion for, for to, of a physical attack once. And uh, let me see, I think Adia has the ability there. Yeah, Utsusemi. But yeah, I don't use that. Not that great in this game, if at all. But at least I can get some Godspeed Strike going. Okay, so let's go with the Blade. And then a couple of those. If the Sharpshooter, or if the Sniper doesn't use Sharpshooter, we should be fine. I'm just thinking maybe it might be better to use... Yeah, why don't we use the Pantheon's Wrath and then a few Mimics. That'll be good. I think this will go through that. Sort of. That works. I guess we really don't need Attack Item Amp after all. But now we need to survive. Ow, quit it. Okay, so... Yeah, why don't we have you take these guys out, go with a good frost on them. It does sound kind of weird when we use Stardust on the Sniper while they're using Sharpshooter there, and it still hits them anyway because... Uh, it's considered magical, so it doesn't trigger Utsusemi. Can't be evaded, at least not in that way. But, yeah, so we we got a whole bunch of new enemies around here. Nothing to steal or anything that I would care about. But I would like to heal up a little bit. Okay, that ought to be good. Yeah, I love using Catmancy for so many different purposes here so i don't mind having that as a secondary command on a whole bunch of party members as long as we're somewhat using it more uniquely except for like uh bigger tonic of course but uh okay so we got all that can i even go up there yeah i think it's open already i thought like things like that didn't get reverted even in new game plus but uh i guess not Hmm. I forget if we're supposed to go up or down from here. Let me see what we got up here. I think we go down. Yeah. Or, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we go down from here. Eventually. To work our way over to the blue chest to the left. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is where I can really start to chain... An obscene number of random battles together. I might even start editing out partial chains of battles just because I could string together like 20 consecutive battles easily in this place. Just keep on passing BP over to Adia. And, I mean, she could take him out with one BP. But, alright, we got the blue chest, Fortuna, which is a little stronger than the previous one there but otherwise oh, okay i guess it has instant death though i don't really care about that but uh okay so yeah we're also at max level 99 but i'm still going to be fighting obscenely long chains of battles pretty much just for the money at this point so i can well buy more catnip but uh okay so we're all done there so yeah, 99 is the max level in this game, not like 100 or something or other. Some other arbitrary number. But uh, okay, so let's see. We're done with our business here. And yeah, now we can go on to other side quests. So let me see what I've got coming up here. Okay, so I need to change my setup a bit. Let's go, yeah, save my current setup. And then, okay, so, yeah, I want to go to my boss setup right away. We're going to go straight to the boss. Um, let's see, yeah, so apply that one. 
and most of this stuff should be the same, although I do want to have in the red. Okay, so we get that for you. Let's see, with Adia, she's good there, though I want her on Warfare. Not Catmancy. Okay, then let's see, with Magnolia... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need her to examine a lot of different enemies. So let's go... Yeah, why don't we make her into a Catmancer? For using uh, battle items. And then, let's see. I guess I'll just leave her on white magic, whatever. I don't even care about her secondary command. Okay, so Waste Knots... Attack item amp. See, speed barrage and items for all. And then let's see with Tiz. Yeah, we still want him to be a fencer. And I want to have katana lore here. But otherwise, I think that's good. Okay, so for equipment, I think you're good there. Yeah, ideas good there why don't we just get some defensive equipment here i don't know not much i'm really concerned about here so let's keep her on the hermes sandals but i want tiz to remain with the katanas there i'm just thinking it with the yeah with the power braces yeah actually hold on well, no, Tiz should have power braces because Idea's probably going to be able to max damage anyway. But yeah, I think that'll, yeah, that'll do. Oh, I suppose I could just rest up here. Although I could have gone to the rub-a-dub, but whatever works. Let's see, I should also disable autosave coming up here so I can undo what I'm about to do, or at least some of it. Okay, so next place I want to go to is the House by the Sea in uh, southeastern uh, Eisenberg there. Okay, so yeah, right over there. Can I even land here? Oh, okay. I was thinking the trees might get in the way, but, uh, nope, nope. But, uh, okay, we got all that. Let's see what's going on here. Ready to build that port? Come on, hurry! Wow, it's just like I remember. Old and breaking down. Probably a safety hazard. Is it really now? You were only wee high when we left, you know. I feared you might forget this place. Well, how old were they? From today, this little place will be our home again. We'll have to tighten our belts on some nights. I hope you understand. Oh, what do you mean? Of course. I want to live here with you, Granddad. In the house where we were all together. Mom and Dad and you and me. That's getting kind of creepy there. I'll help out lots and work really hard, and you won't have to, okay? Oh, such passion. Such fire and vigor, they move me so. I fear I may be overcome with tears. First, I was like, wait a minute, was that the, the old man there? <laughs> no. Hey. Who are you? And what are you doing here, huh? This is our house. Could have knocked. Yes, yes! Oh, I know, I know! I've been waiting here so very long for your return, yes? <laughs> what do you want? <coughs> He's scary with his money. Uh-oh. Here you go again. Stop harassing poor, innocent people! Well, I mean, we took his side the last time. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, did you? You sure kept us waiting. We did? Oh, 
Right. You aren't harassing anyone. Oh, yeah, you haven't gotten that far yet. Not at all. Well, I thought she was scared. I was here first, and then came Miss White, and we are all having a calm, rational discussion. We are? This old man here insists that he hears your opinion first, Idia. He won't listen to a word that either of us has to say. Even though we're all perfect strangers here. Never mind the old codger. It is the girl who has been the biggest obstacle. Well, what do you mean? So, if you might excuse me. Don't tell me. More research? Yeah, get out of here. But of course. Business is always in flux. The situation changes from one moment to the next. <laughs> oh. Then I suppose I should also get moving. What do you mean? Hmm? What kind of research could you have to do, huh? Stopping you? <laughs> A personal kind. Involving me, Hearts Child's craft brews, and plates of sausage bordering on obscene. You wastrel. You wouldn't dare consume all of the stock and leave me with no product to sell? What is that? What do you have to do with that? Oh, oh, oh. just watch me. I bet she could. Oh, wait a second, you two! And there they go again. Ah. Uh. So... Okay, let's see if I've got this right. What? Right. We haven't even started anything. Profiteur wants you two to abandon your house so he can develop this inlet into a trading port. But Holly thinks you shouldn't give up the home that holds so many memories for you and your granddaughter. I didn't think they said anything this time around yet. Is that more or less how it went? Aye, more or less. And you come from a long line of fishermen who fished here for generations. Well, you could fish somewhere else. But after you lost your son and daughter-in-law in the war, you took your granddaughter and fled from this house. That's... Only to return a short time ago, having sworn to live here together as a family once again. Still good? Yeah, we'll go with that. Aye, that's it in a seashell. So I take it you've already heard Profiteur's reasons for why he thinks this area ought to be developed, right? So he can make more money? And why Holly objects so strongly to you giving up the house? That too. Shouldn't we ask if the young lady has any thoughts on the matter? She doesn't own anything. I still want to live here with Granddad, but... But? But if Granddad has to go fishing in rough seas all alone so we can eat... Say but again. You're right. That is a scary thought, huh? Well, I mean, you gotta fish somehow. But you don't want to say goodbye to this old house, do you? Or have you changed your mind? Do we care? I don't want to leave. But when I see Granddad has to work so hard here... Certainement. So you find yourself conflicted. Well, we can take care of that problem. Bring out your dad! Maybe we need to look into this again and think things through. Oh, or not. We'll come back here once we've got some solid advice to give you, okay? We... can do that? Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we're, uh, hmm. What do you gotta say? Oh. Okay, uh, actually, yeah, why don't we save one more time, just so we don't have to go through that all over again. But yeah, we still gotta stick around here this time in order to advance the side quest. Let's try that one again. Oh, Miss Idia. Hey, let's go. Tell me, should we abandon this place? Or better we live here, no matter how modestly. Sure, why not? What do you think is best? It's a tough choice. Even if it's for the good of the nation, you shouldn't have to give up the home you love. Right? Well, I mean, you can get another one. But if they do give it up, 
their war-torn homeland will have the chance to get back on its feet. What would I do in their shoes? Murder? But, uh, okay, so, let's see. Yeah, why don't we take Prophet Tour's side the first time around? And then we can uh, undo that. I think you should sell your land to Profiteur, for your country's sake. I see what Holly's saying, but I just don't think she's right about this one. Yeah, I mean, we didn't take her side the first time around. Take the money that Profiteur is offering, and move to a nice house in Hartschild or somewhere. So, how are you going to sell this house for enough money to buy a house that isn't falling apart in the city? How does it even work? It's the best thing for you and your granddaughter. Don't you think? Uh, of course. Surely, you must be right. Oh, of course. Stop screwing around, idiot. Uh, what's wrong with you? Oh, whoa, whoa, you're three sheets to the wind! What does that even mean? I don't know! What? You think the one and only Holly White can't hold a little... stout? Well, you and, uh, Barris both. If you think this is drunk, <laughs> I think... You must be drunk, idiot. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing goes better with a flagon of black hearts than a juicy heart worst. Well, at least you'll be th easy this time around. We aren't gonna have to take care of her, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like I really can't let my guard down around you. <laughs> yeah, I've played this JRPG before. I thought you understood, idiot. But you still don't get it, do you? Profiteur's plans for this country's recovery will only help the few and leave the rest doing not good. <laughs> not like this fine brew would do them. Good stout is what it's all about. Cheers! I... I don't even know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Can't you see? See what? <laughs> that raps played you for fools? And you're too clueless to notice. Well, that's not my problem. Is that so? Don't question me, old man. Just... just don't sell this house. Look, it's for your own sake. And for your granddaughters is, is, is. Don't any of you get it? No. Won't you just listen to me for once in your life, idiot? No. Oh, I get it. You need more convincing. Besides, we killed you before we met Adia in the first game. Then I guess you won't mind me handbacking, I mean, backhanding some sense into you. Go drunk, you're home. But, uh, yeah, yeah, why don't we do that? Ugh. Why am I wasting my breath? You never got it, and you never will. No, probably not. Then we'll just have to move straight on to discipline. Giggity. Get out of here, girls. Oh, you got helpers this time around? These buffaloons need a good dose of whatever. Let's just give them a slacking. Whack them upside the head. For boss time! Why am I always surrounded by stubborn oxen? Well, I'll <laughs> show you how I deal with oxen. You're looking at the former saving grace of the Attorney and Sky Knights. White Mage Holly White! Assume the position! Yeah, I think you bet on the wrong horse. Or oxen. Whatever! But, uh, okay, so we don't need to worry about 
examining them at all. Just meteor rain. And a couple more meteors within the red. Okay, with the Dia, yeah, we can just go right after Holly there. Magnolia. Let's see. Yeah, they're weak to thunder. So why don't we toss a whole bunch of those at these guys? And then, let's see, with Tiz, back up a moment there. Okay, so, wait, what did I do with this? Oh, okay. Um, I was thinking about maybe equipping the, the Raikiri, but no, actually, it's only the two that are strong again, or weak to it. So, yeah, probably not worth it. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, Falcon Stands, Falcon Claw. Mimic, that'll be good. And Magnolia's fast enough to clear out the minions before anything else. People should live in a way that suits them. Live above what suits you or below. You'll only end up miserable. I suppose you types born into wealth and privilege will never get it. Uh, I don't think... Well, okay, I mean, you was probably rich, but the rest of us weren't. Yeah, look at the Eric, My boys. Grandpa. Why have you all gone and left me? Ha ha. So, little tougher than before, but nothing too extraordinary. Ugh. I'm gonna remember this. But yeah, we didn't have to go through a dungeon or anything this time around. Granddad! I was so scared! Ha ha! There, there, child. I'm sorry for putting you through such an ordeal. Sorry for all the murder attempts. There's no need to worry any longer. I'm going to sell this old house and take you someplace where we can live a fine life. Aren't you still going to need money for, like, food and stuff? What? You're going to sell our house? If we just give up this house, we'll be able to live an easy life together for the rest of our days. Well, for the rest of her days? No! I don't want to leave again. If you want to go, go on your own! No, well, wait, child! You don't really have a say in it. <laughs> oh, well. I just can't win. What is all this? First that sentimental sadist, and then the little girl both go running past me. And don't worry about them. Oh, so you've been convinced to sell the house? Fantastic! Well, money can be very effective. I shall owe you for this, Miss Idia. And the profiteur always pays his debts. What debts? Now then, if you will just sign over the deed. Hold on. Oh, what do you mean? I thought we told them to sell the house. Yeah, yes? Uh, what is it? Look, I know I went along with you over Holly, but... All she wanted was for these two to be able to keep living together here, even if it was a modest life. Well, they'll be able to live a better life now. And I stomped all over her feelings. Good! Hmm. So promise me one thing. Promise me that you're going to turn this place into the best trade port ever. Get this country back on its feet, and fast. Well, the war's over, that'll help. Make it a safe country. Where an old man like this can live without the fear of losing his children in a stupid war. Well, we're working on that. As soon as we murder everyone else, then we can stop the killing. A prosperous country. Where people don't have to spend every day worrying about how to make ends meet. And where that little girl can grow and learn and get the education she needs and wants. What education? Promise me you'll do that. Without a moment wasted. I will. Of course I will. <laughs> You'd better. Because if you don't, I'll be coming for you. 
Got my eye on you. You can trust in a rootist prefetio. No. If you think I'm taking too long, you may come to blast me away at any time. And now that this is settled, I must get down to work at once. We will get this contract settled, then I will have the construction begun within two weeks. You will see. Well, it would be nice to have a, an actual port. I will need to arrange for materials and tools and laborers and everything with the utmost of haste. And lots of drugs for them. Which means I have no more time to dally here. Excuse me while I depart. Uh, don't you need to get the signature? It looks as though this country may finally be on the road to recovery. Well, maybe. Though I do feel bad about disappointing Holly. No, not really. But still, it's all for that little girl. She deserves a safe country that can provide her with a real future. We have a country here? I know I made the right decision. I don't think we, like, really have a government here. Not anymore. I hope I'll be able to say that soon. And I'm going to watch over this country to make sure of it. Well, now that we can fly anywhere we want... Oh, okay, I guess the... The guy's done with whatever he was doing there. But, uh, okay, so yeah, we already got the white mage asterisk. So, yeah, I'm not going to go with that long term, of course. So, this time, let's make a different decision. So we can get the merchant asterisk. But yeah, let's just get up to the decision point And let's hold on to the home this time around. Holly's right. You should stay in your home with your granddaughter. We got plenty of other places to make a port. Don't sell out to profit her. There's something wrong with driving a family out of their home for the sake of a country. Well, he's not driving them out of the country, just providing an incentive. Aye. Aye, that's just what I was thinking. Or that. Stop this nonsense at once! Are you in the market for a beating, eh? Are you drunk too? Whoa, 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 what happened to your research? Why even bother with research when you are here to sabotage all my plans? Look at this! Ha <laughs> ha! A bright vision for Eisenberg's future by the Honorable Erudus Profiter Esquire? What is this? I don't want to know. My lecture series, or so it was. Now all my best laid plans for interregional cooperation vanish in the wind. Good. Just like the retainer fee I should have been paid for that lecture. Not that it was all so much. <laughs> it seems I have returned just in time. You wish to see my plans ruined, is that it? That's the general idea, yeah. You saw with your own full eyes what the people of this nation lack, what they need. What do you think it takes for a starving country to flourish again? Industry, trade, power of the economy. Well, they're not going to be starving for very long. The people must turn their eyes across the seas. The trade port is the only road to recovery. I, I know. And yet... If you know, then there is only one piece of advice to be giving this gentleman. Let him make his own decisions. Sell the house to a ruthless profiteur and allow him to develop this land. What land? Land around here isn't doing too well. <sighs> what is with this sour face? This is your way of telling me you refuse to cooperate? Come on, Murgurgur! Do it! Mur, mur, yes! I actually didn't know that she was gonna do that there. <laughs> and now the murring and the gurring. Hurry and explain <laughs> to the kind gentleman that he should sell the land to me. <laughs> or do you still mean to bet against me in this matter, huh? You should not be writing checks you cannot cash. How hard could you possibly be? But, uh, yeah, this time we want to go after 
the merchant asterisk. Go build your port somewhere else. It seems you're having trouble understanding simple economic theory. Well, I just kind of want to live. So, I will give you a little lesson in incentives. What kind of incentives? We have the carrots and the stick. The stick is a coercive incentive, as we shall presently demonstrate. A boomstick? For boss time! You seem to have forgotten who you are dealing with, so let me jog your memory. The chairman and brains behind the Kamar and Profitor merger tree. I control Lansham with the force of money alone! The rudest profiteer, merchant of death, will now collect his pound of flesh. All right, so let's see. Yeah, a whole bunch of new enemies here. That's why I've got Magnolia set up the way I do. So let's see. With you, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hopefully the minions will be gone by the time I get to his turn. Idea uh, doesn't really care about that. We'll just have her go straight at the pop tour. Magnolia. This time let's use a magnifying glass. And most if not all of the guys there are weak to lightning. So, ah, oh, there we go. It's like, where'd it go? Get all those going. And then tis. Falcon stands, Falcon claw mimic. That ought to be good enough for now. All right, good. So even though it examines just the one enemy, or it only shows it there, we've got the examine on all of them. And we killed all the minions right away. If only I had a multi-hitting attack for Idea to use. But sadly, I do not. Ha! From my position, I'll make a small fortune. And then the extra profit from the black market will be there for the taking. <laughs> what black market? So close, I can see it now. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I am in the red now. How very wearisome. Unfortunately, the merchant asterisk is pretty terrible in this game. I heard it was good in the Japanese version, or at least the original Japanese version of Bravely Default, but this game, not so much. I think it was okay in Four Heroes of Light, but in this one, not so much. I'm just getting it for the collection and bestiary entries and all that other stuff. But, uh, alright, so we got that. Let's get out of here. Curses! Now I am back to square one again. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Granddad, I was so scared. By all the murdering. There, there. That was scary, wasn't it? I thought the roof was going to come crashing down. But you still want to stay here, do you? That's the idea. I do. I mean, we didn't just defend your lives for nothing. Well, what am I to do then? I'm glad to hear it, child. We'll do just fine together. Yeah, we'll be together forever. And starting tomorrow, I'm going fishing with you. You are? From King Tuna to Skewering Marlin, I'll help you catch anything. Oh, okay. I mean, if you can uh, do that, I guess. <laughs> Will you now? What a fine first mate you're gonna be. Just watch out for the ghost ship. Heart's child stout goes down so smooth. Oh, you're still, uh... Uh, uh... Yeah. And these heart worsts... Mm, mm. Did they hit the spot? Mmm, delicious bratwurst. <laughs> that swindling little rat ran past me in tears. <laughs> what in the world happened? Murder. Attempts. So you convinced the old man not to sell. 
you did a good thing looking out for those two. So you you were just standing outside while we were trying to kill each other? I never thought I'd say this, but <gasps> thanks, Sidia. You could have helped out. Oh no. No, it was nothing. Oh, she reeks. What do you mean? Now, what was this about a a letter? We had a letter? Oh, it's from Barris. <laughs> I didn't even know the brute could write. <laughs> Oi, Holly. They say I've got real skill as a bone setter. Come on over. We can open a clinic <laughs> or something. What's a bone setter? That Barris. Always doing as he pleases. I'm guessing it's like preparing a bone to, I don't know, put a cast on it so you can, well, set the bone, I guess. I'm an engineer, not a doctor! And come on over? He doesn't even say where he is. Ridiculous, right? Oh, we could find him for you. Why don't you stay here? Oh, that, that's kind of you, sweetie. But... I've got more booze to drink. I would not object. And clearly my granddaughter wants you here. If you'd like, feel free to stay. Don't you have a place in, uh, well, I guess Eternia? Well, it's all very sudden. I'd have to... What's there to consider? Look. Not being drunk, for one. I told these two to keep their home because I agreed with what you had to say, Holly. Even though it meant putting a stop to Profiter's plans for rebuilding this nation's economy. Uh, and black market goods. So I hope you're ready to take your share of the responsibility. What would they have a need for a black market anyway? For responsibility? Anything? Watch over these two and see that they have a better life here than Profiter's money could have given them. <laughs> you're right. I give you my word. Good Whatever to works. So, okay, yeah, they are sticking around then, I guess. Oh, okay. I suppose you could do that, too. Why not? Ha ha. But, uh, oh, right, that's everything we can do here. But, yeah, we didn't even have to go into the Mithril Mines. What do we got over there anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.